The following video installation instructions are a general guideline on how to assemble a Logier Island unit. For more detailed instructions, please refer to the printed installation instructions found in the red and white striped box. Welcome to the video assembly instructions for Logier Island sections. When your shipment first arrives, locate the red and white striped box. In this box, you will find hardware to assist you in assembling the fixture, instructions in case of damage or shortage, suggested unloading and stacking procedures, printed installation instructions, and a packing list. This packing list will have a printout of what has been shipped and will correspond to the labels on the end of each box. If the red and white striped box does not contain a packing list, Check the other product boxes for the one that has the packing list attached to it. To begin the assembly, first stack the cartons as suggested on the gold instruction sheet. Step 1. Snap a chalk line on the floor for the desired location of the base fronts. Please note the decks will overhang the chalk line by 3 inches. Step 2. Lay out the parts as shown here. Place the uprights in the center, with the base brackets along either side. Then the base fronts, center, and bottom rails alongside. As an alternative, you may place the center and bottom rails inside the base front. Step 3. Hook the spring-loaded base bracket into the upright. Install the bracket fully into the upright slot, then push down. The latch must fully engage in the upright to lock the bracket into place. Check the tab on the bracket to ensure proper installation. A light tap with a rubber mallet may be required to fully engage the latch. Before completing the following step, please refer to page 1A of the printed installation instructions for detailed rail descriptions and locations. Step 4. Stand up the first and second upright assembly and attach the bottom rail into the bottom lance of the upright. Then attach the center rail. Next, attach the base fronts to the base brackets on both upright assemblies. The base fronts are installed by sliding them in from the top. The base fronts should line up with the chalk line on the floor. Step 5. Find the top of the back panels by locating the end marked with a paint stripe. The top row of holes will be 7 eighths of an inch from center to the top edge. Next, install one back panel to the section. Be sure to set the back into place. Do not drop into place. Step 6. Assemble the remaining sections along the chalk line as before, except do not install any more backs to the fixture. Step 7. Align all the closed base fronts to the chalk line. Lozier base brackets and upright leveling legs are preset to allow the installation of the island sections without any leveling adjustment on flat level floors. If the floor shows large amounts of uneven conditions, proceed as follows. Step 8. Leveling the fixture. Insert wedges into the two end upright slots, making sure that you use the same slot on both uprights. Run a string between the two wedges. Pull tight and tie. Wedges are not provided, but can be made with these dimensions out of metal or wood. As an alternative, you may use the leveling leg wrench in place of a wedge. Next, measure the end upright from the floor to the top. Using a long standard screwdriver, adjust the base bracket leveling legs so that the top of the upright is 3 eighths of an inch under the upright's nominal height. The nominal height of the upright is the height of the upright that was ordered. Adjust the opposite base bracket leveling leg until the proper height is reached. Use a carpenter's level to ensure that the upright is plumb. Repeat this procedure to the upright on the other end of the fixture run. 
Next, adjust the remaining base bracket's leveling legs until all the uprights are plumb and at the proper height using the string as a reference. Step 9. Adjust the upright leveling legs until they are 1 16th of an inch above the floor. Use the leveling leg wrench as a guide. Step 10. Install the remaining backs. Then install the top rails. Be sure the top rails lock into place. Step 11. Install the end trim. Install the upright end trim by holding it at an angle and hooking to the top of the upright and pressing on, working towards the floor. Next, install the base end trim by sliding it over the base bracket, ensuring that it slides between the front and rear flanges on the base bracket. Step 12. Install the base decks. To install the base deck, tilt upwards and hook the rear molding behind the hold down pin on the rear of the base bracket. Be sure that the alignment lug aligns with the notch on the base deck and set into place. To finish the assembly, install the shelves. Thank you for watching the video assembly instructions for a Logier Island section.